dog is back. Least smartest dog in the world. Not now, boy. Research, this is Victor. I'm calling you in regards to the chemical compound you stumbled across the other day. The one with the bunny? <laughs> the bunny you turned into a monster. I can see it now. A whole army of... Bunnies? No, not bunnies. I want something bigger. Dogs. They're coming. They're coming your way. <laughs> I'm oh, oh, holding up this crisp DVD. <laughs> one, of the, one of the ones with the fucking well, plastic. Well, at least now we're moves. recording it. At least, at least now we're doing a bit. Now, now it's for something. It's so flimsy. They removed all the plastic to save waste. And the disc, the disc, it doesn't fucking come out. You can't get this disc out. I don't know how oh, I got God, it in the I've DVD player. Hated, yeah. I've always hated those kind of fucking. And it came pre-packaged with scratches on the disc. Ooh, what a deal. It's got the, yeah, the scratches pre-done. Hi, welcome to Ref Cuts. This is apparently our intro now. Thanks, boys. Uh, I'm your host, Ilya, and this is my co-host, Co-Buddy, and now our special guest, Boyks, because I'm firing his ass. Woo! Promotion! Yeah, uh, we. <laughs> just this what is I our wanted. podcast where we watch. Uh, I'm free. Ba bad dog movies, and then. <laughs> God damn it! Where we watch a bad dog movie and then immediately talk about it. Except sometimes we don't because some people <laughs> will just sit there and just open a disc silently over and over in front of the camera instead of counting us in like they're supposed to, which is their job every fucking week. Uh huh. Hey, it's Monster Mutt. We watched. We watched a DVD. Boyks did a lot of work for this one. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, so it's lost media. This is yeah. this is a film that is lost media. Is in it only exists in physical, in limited quantity, mm -hmm. and there is no way to watch it digitally, which means it has no backup if these discs just rot to hell, which they will. And yeah. and and the fact that a brand new DVD copy came pre scratched is not a good sign. You better upload it. I was gonna say, honestly, I, I I'm might not actually joking. This. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm kind of not joking. Like, it's honestly, it's kind of a service to archive that and put it up somewhere. Like, this honestly, is Cerberus. This is Cerberus. Yeah, I don't know. You might send that into like Internet Archive. Like, no yeah. joke. No. no. Yeah. Because as much as we might shit on these movies um, in various ways, or like make fun of them, or whatever, it's. The, people put effort into these, you know, like their art should be preserved. There's reasons to have it. Yeah, that belongs in a museum. <laughs> I that was a meta uh, joke because anyway, <laughs> this movie was uh, a land of contrasts. It, it was a film mm -hmm. that exists in the in the year of 2023 that we are recording this. This was a this was very much a dog movie. <laughs> Nobody got to got to witness one of like the peaks of the archetype. It's so if we do dog movie bingo. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, single dad. I did write dead mom in huge letters. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we got single dad. We have like cop dad. I mean I like a firefighter cop adjacent but like it's always that it's okay there's either it's either like science cop or firefighter those are the three options that you yeah. have for a career Pu in a dog movie. public you don't servant dad else. public servant dad sure. sure yeah sure yeah uh there's that there's a dog being kidnapped which is usually a dog napper like a that does happen a lot yeah oh yeah i think it's happened literally every single one i've been on yeah. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. It's Except a common for, thing. Well, I mean, Hulk Hogan got kidnapped in Three Ninjas, and Hulk Hogan is a dog. So. He is a dog. He's a bad yeah. boy, though. He's a That's bad not, dog. Oh, yeah. That's a bad dog. Yeah. Uh, there's the, like, there's science. Science? There's not, like, a washing machine that says science on it that they're cracking as a safe. But it's pretty close. It's close. It's close <laughs> to that. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 a lot better than that. I will say their set design was pretty okay in this. 
Ru- fun. Russian assassin is oddly yep. common. <laughs> I was gonna say Russian. Yes, that's that was actually going yeah. to be a thing that I was gonna say. I'm like, yeah, Russians are honestly quite a thing. Generally, yes. Yeah. Um. The oh God. Vet what else? romance. That's pretty common, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, the single the single parent thing always results in kids wanting like, to get them what? to fuck. I don't know. Why can't the parent just be single? That's what I don't get. Like, is it because it's a family film? Family so it has film. to be. Yeah, traditional yeah. values, that kind of shit. I guess. Like, there was no indication the dad was sad about the situation. No. He was Hunky Fireman 4. Like, like <laughs> he was shirtless bagging, not the vet, but something on her wall. He was putting a shelf on her wall, shirtless, muscly. Putting a shelf on her wall. He had, like, one of those shelves that has the the hooks in it where you need to put it into a like yep where you put the it's got like the rails for it oh he railed yeah no i got it you can adjust it and everything (laughs) but there was no rail on the wall so he's just sitting there like holding it putting putting it against the wall over and over like yeah that's gonna that'll be a good shelf and it's like you you can you need to install the yeah, okay, that's all right. Don't worry about it. No. He's a fireman. He doesn't need to think. <laughs> Big Ken energy. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, he had some Ken energy for sure. Uh, anyway, so this is by the uh, director. No, well, no. The director <sighs> no, of this is... The director of this is the makeup artist for The Mask, Son of the Mask, Van Helsing, randomly. There uh, you go. And, and a ton of Disney shows. Which there was a lot of uh, the mask energy in this movie, I will admit. Yeah, there was. There was, and they did practical effects. So, like, I gotta give yeah. them some props for that. Not all of them looked good, <laughs> but <laughs> I thought they were they were fine. They were they all were okay. funny. It, it was hard to tell if something was intentionally funny or yes. unintentionally funny. Is the problem I was having. <laughs> okay, that that I'll agree with. Yeah, I I thought this movie was often hilarious. Yeah, I thought this I thought this movie was a blast, but also, again, not always. I think in a way that they intended. Mm-hmm. So because it was they also did, oh go ahead, they yeah. had some good jokes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. A few like there's a scene where the dog, who's been gremlin, <laughs> yes. But we'll get yeah. to that. Uh, knocks over a um, a gate, and it's like very unexpected and fast, <laughs> and then it just moves on. And you're like, what? Yeah, it just pushes it fucking over. It's done in the most awkward and stilted and weird way possible. That was definitely and, unintended. And humor. I don't know if that was unintended. I think it had to be because I don't think they expected they just, that to be funny. They just they like, didn't mean it to look as janky as it did. <laughs> no. It's because it was. It's because it was one of the moments where so it's. The dog gets monsterized, and it's very obviously after that, somebody in, like, a weird Mm -hmm. fursuit. And it's... The problem with that one was that it became extremely obvious. This is, like, an awkward, hunched-over person trying to, like, over the gate. And that was what was great about it, is how weirdly stilted it was as physical. Because it's practical... You can tell Ooh. that the person in the costume cannot see a fucking thing out yes. of that mask. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, exactly. So there, there's other scenes where, like, the, the person in the dog suit knocks over the kids, and I don't think that was intentional. I think it just, they couldn't just see where happens. they were going, and things just fell down and ran into people. And... Mm-hmm. Very, yeah, and, and the, very the gate was one of the most obvious versions of that, and I think that's why that was funny. They, it had nothing to do with them being intentional. They did not want it to look that bad. It just, mm. it just happened. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you try and make a movie look good, and it just doesn't. It just don't. <laughs> it just don't look good. They don't have anybody uh, credited as being in the dog costume on IMDb, by the way. Mm. That's a shame. Yeah, go buddy. Yeah, go yeah. I was going to say, that's just sometimes the risk you take for uh, uh-huh. practical effects. Yeah, sometimes it just looks real fucking goofy. Uh, some of the yeah. good jokes, though. One, The minute that I realized that we were in for a real treat, I think, is my first note. And that was, 
that there is a villain boss, there's a scientist character who's conducting experiments at Invigormax, was uh, what it was? And don't know what they do. Invigromax or in Invigromax like or something? Yeah, yeah I, I kind of love the name of that company, honestly. Like, I think they did I, some good science. They, they do science, but they're specifically a energy drink company, question mark? Are they? I don't think that. I think that was just a joke we made. I don't think that was actually the case. It, but, but the boss is constantly sipping on an energy drink that has their logo. So I'm like, oh, was he? Yeah, it I had missed, to be I that. Notice, yeah, yeah. It, it's not explicit though. Is the problem? I, yeah, I have no idea. But they've got a dude doing science, and then there's a, an evil boss who nobody noticed. Yeah. What? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> um. So the the. <laughs> main villain of this movie is played by the bully from fucking A Christmas Story. Yup. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the Christmas Story bully, who I've seen him in a lot of things, and I never connected that. I never real. I was like, oh, I know this guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I did- didn't know that he was the Christmas Story bully. I never thought about it. it but it's It really is his face. He's kind of got, like, a yes. really weirdly recognizable and kind of slimy face. Yeah. 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 I- it's it's one of those things where it's like, boy, that's a real good asset for you as an actor, and also, man, that really sucks. It's because you're gonna be stuck. <laughs> he has a tall forehead, and his eyes are very like, I don't know, very like, squinty, kinda, squinty. Yeah. So he always yeah. looks like he's thinking, he's doing stuff in his brain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something yeah. like that. But yeah. in any case, the part that I really liked is the science boss. Uh, first shows up and he's calling the scientist man uh who's a good guy and maybe our main protagonist weirdly i guess it turns yeah, out they kind of fucked that one up but uh he calls him on speakerphone and he's doing like this very obvious villain monologue for this kids movie and in the background there's a fucking like portrait of himself <laughs> Doing, like, a real schmarmy look and, like, a weird pose. Yeah. And then as he's talking to the guy, he does the same pose and, like, this weird schmarmy look. Like it's he's so good. He does, like, a JoJo pose. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, all right, like, I'm fucking in. Fair even, enough. He even looks at the painting and then looks back and does the pose. He's like, yes. oh, yeah, I can do that. So good. Like, like he just so remembered. Good. <laughs> mm-hmm. and I, that one, I was like, all right, I'm fucking sold. They know what they're doing. This is pretty good. <laughs> like, that's the intentional joke. For sure. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that one was hilarious. Like, I mm. actually was... It, he does such a good job of selling it. And maybe we should mention um, the actors in this. There's a lot of, like, uh, character actors yeah. that you'd mm-hmm. recognize. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. There's a ton of them. Like, the Christmas Story Bully, who's he's got, like, 150 credits. There's, like, six or seven actors that all the, have, like, 250 the, credits on it. The Russian henchman is Juliet Landau. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the uh, Mindy Sterling is the neighborhood watch lady who is yeah. also the the Frau in Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah the doctor's of, Brian Stepanek. Yeah, mm-hmm. lots of people I recognize from like shows I grew up as a kid watching. Yeah, yeah. that that's what we were saying. It feels like a Nickelodeon movie because there's a lot of the same mm-hmm. type of actors, if not the same actors you would see in those films. The yeah. the children's movie bit actors. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's a lot of like children's movie bit actors or like B comedy kind of like background yeah. people that as it turns out, I think that they're often better than the films that they're stuck in. Yeah. <laughs> they elevate it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That and makes it sense. shows off in this movie too, because they do a good job of it. Uh the little girl also Despite oh, the, like she was good, <laughs> so much she ass. was really good. Yes, uh, Boyks, w- would you like to describe exactly the way that you started calling her? Which, oh yeah. So first of all, the actress, the uh, the girl is mm-hmm. uh, Rhiannon Lee Rin, uh, who I think has gone on to still work in the industry, which is neat. Um, I hope so. She's great. She is. <laughs> Gatekeep Gaslight Girl Boss. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> Those are the three things she does in this movie. Yeah. Because the start of this movie, uh, to get into it, is that she's at school and she's getting teased by these 
mean girls because their dog is stupid and yeah. won't do like shake a paw. That's yeah. literal. Yeah, I'm no, that's, just the the thing. Yeah, that's the no, plot. Yeah, that's the plot. It's yeah. just uh, the plot. You can't laugh yet. That's just yeah, the plot. It literally <laughs> opens on like. The, the girl's going, what kind of dog is that? It's just a regular ass looking dog. It's just a dog. It's, it's, just, a it's dog. just a regular ass dog. It's They're good dogs, dog. kids. They're good dogs. They're just Fucking dogs. Fucking Jill. Jesus Christ, Jill. Chill out. But, uh... <laughs> so then she's walking home and there, there had been a scene just before that of this weird British rock dude. Right. Yeah. Like this weird, rich British rock dude. It's easy that you forgot him because the movie also does yeah. <laughs> eventually. He just disappears at some he point. Just, yeah. Yeah. At a certain point, he just, they're like, uh, how do we end that care? We'll just, let's just shuffle him off. It's okay. But the dog like pissed on his car and he gets really mad about it. So then she's walking the dog home without a leash, and uh-huh. he comes out and starts yelling at her that she doesn't have her dog on a leash, and she fucking gaslights this dude so good. What are you talking like, about? Oh, the dog in the neighborhood that is yeah. a stray that looks exactly like my dog? No, she my dog's behind. She sends her dog behind. running ahead, and she's like, oh man, this is a weird... No, that was some weird dog. I've never seen that dog before. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. my dog's in our in our yard behind a fence that locks. Duh, yeah. idiot. And then she walks him <laughs> to her house and, like, does this whole thing where she shows him that it's, uh, no, like, the dog, there he is, he's sleeping in his doghouse. Like, just totally fucking gaslights this dude. She fucking grosses his ass. One of many scenes of her gaslighting people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she is, like, she's got, like, this perfect little girl sass about it. She's yeah. incredible. Like, the actress, how often do we compliment childhood actors? Yeah. She does a way better job than the the boy, her brother. Yes. For yeah. sure. Yeah. I honestly really liked Ice Cream Kid, too. Ice Cream, Ice Kid, Cream is so Kid was good. very funny. He was, he was so flat of affect, which was perfect for what his character was. And he never does anything else. That's his only credit. He's that Ice I Cream find Kid on and Blackmail Kid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's yeah. the two things he does. It's two defining characteristics. Hey, man, like, you gotta go with what works. <laughs> Ice cream kid, help me out. You got ten bucks? <laughs> I, all, all I got I... is a twenty. That'll work. Yeah, you, want, you, wanna, you wanna post on something awful? You got ten bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got ten bucks. Oh, don't let that be his end. Come on. <laughs> we, know where that, we know where that story goes. It's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. I'm just saying. Lord Almighty. Uh, any, anyway, there's also the neighborhood watch lady whose job is to sit at home and harass her neighbors. Basically. Yes. This was another good bit in my mind. I actually thought this was really funny she most was of the time. Funny, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that it helps that it was played by, the, again, this was Mindy Sterling, mm-hmm. uh, the Frau from Austin Powers. And. She's just a good actress. Like, she really sells the the crotchety, mean, like, busybody neighborhood watch lady. And she's got, like, a whole fucking conspiracy board and, like, mapped out neighborhood with, like, pins on it in her living room where she's tracking all the crime. If it wasn't to an extreme, it wouldn't be funny. Mm -hmm. And and she takes it to an extreme that is very funny. (laughs) Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like they go they go so hard with it that it, yeah. it works, yes. Uh, one well, one of my favorite things about the uh the neighborhood watch lady too is when she gives the flyer to the little girl and as soon as she as yeah. soon as she turns her back, the little girl just crumples up the flyer and just, and just her like back. throws it over her head, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't need this shit. This yeah. is what I mean like again, like that. A lot of the characters, that's really what elevates this movie in a lot of ways. Like, the plot's just kind of, sure, eh. whatever. It's just yeah. your average. Uh, well, and and it's your average family dog movie plot, so it's not good. There's a lot but, of slow scenes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's basically two different movies in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that note that I said where I was in is also 17 minutes into our recording. It's late. <laughs> yeah. 
to give an idea because there nothing happens before that. It's just her walking her dog around. I was reading yeah, some family drama. I was reading yes. some reviews and they were like, I turned this on and my son just checked out like ten minutes in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't pick up until probably 15, 20 minutes in, so... Yep. Yeah. It has. I actually think that it is... I would have liked this as a kid. Like, I think that this is a fine movie, except that it has such a bad pacing problem at the beginning, because it's mm-hmm. so yep. much of, like... Yep. As Kobody was saying, it's, it's the family drama. You got to experience something that we often find, which is... <laughs> Oh, look, they have a cool movie, but it's only 30 minutes long. So what are we going to do? I know. (laughs) We'll fill it out with family bullshit. What family bullshit? I don't know. Dad's got single. Mom's dead. You could cut this down to probably 30, 45 minutes, and it would be a way better movie. (laughs) Yes. But but instead, it's an hour, like, 37 or something like Mm -hmm. that. So, Yeah, like, the whole beginning is just her, like, kind of introducing to the the neighborhood. So she meets, like, the British rocker and uh, gaslights the hell out of him. (laughs) Then the neighborhood watch lady walks into her backyard and she crumples up her flyer and says, That's the gatekeep. That's the gatekeep, yeah. And then she goes inside and she's talking to her dad and she goes, Hey, uh, dad, why don't you get any? (laughs) That's the girl boss. That's the girl boss. Why don't you get any? Oh, you brought pizza home again? What the fuck's wrong with you? Cook like a real fucking dad. Yeah, she gets mad that she's getting pizza from her dad. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Who is who is this person? I, I know why the pizza scene happened, by the way. It was technically a setup and a payoff. Yeah, because of the pizza. Because of the pizza later. Now. Yeah. Wow. It's the only reason. I, it's gotta be. <laughs> I, I honestly wonder if that's just that they bought pizza to the set that day and they're like, I don't know, let's have them <laughs> let's have them eat pizza, pizza I guess. Yeah. Let's just take it off the craft table. It's fine. Wait, you don't think they had food for the actors in between scenes? They just made them eat it on set? No, no, no. I'm saying that they did, and they were like, okay, well, we need food for everybody to do this, and so then they just took it. Off, they took the unused stuff and just. Oh. Oh, nobody, yeah. nobody ate this bad Domino's pepperoni. Let's throw that out did, there. Did they also? Do you think they expected them to have a shart afterwards, or was that just? <laughs> oh God! Yeah, they did. They did have the dog do a there, big. There's a lot of poopy fart yeah. jokes. Yeah. Well, let, let's move on with the plot. So the scientist, Doctor uh, Lloyd, I think his name is Victor Lloyd. Doctor Victor Lloyd. Yeah. But his boss keeps calling him Doctor Victor, which is his first name, because he doesn't understand how. I. Name tags work, I guess? I don't know. This man doesn't understand how anything works, (laughs) except that he can do a really good smarmy pose, and I kind of love him. But Dr. Lloyd injects a bunny with his monster energy drink that he's been creating in his lab that is also the same lab where they create the ooze from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Well, that's that's obviously where all monsters created. Yeah. It's true. true. And and this turns the bunny into a puppet, a rubber puppet, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A, a monster gremlin, like a mogwai. Yes, yeah, it gets yep. it's very gremlins. It's very extremely gremlins. Yeah. gremlins. The, the method they use for the puppets is even the same as the gremlins, which is oh yeah, is yeah. that that rubber that immediately flakes and dissolves over time. <laughs> Yeah, like, the minute they stopped filming, these things all became a puddle of goo. Just in Absolutely. the trash, yeah. But the, the rabbit... If you ever want to see, just just for everyone listening to this, if you ever want to see what we're talking about, go look up the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles costumes. Oh, yeah. And where they are now, because they are fucked beyond belief. The, for the gremlins, honestly. The gremlins were also being torn apart over time. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so the rabbit gets transformed and then transforms <clears throat> back on its own without an antidote. <gasps> no, no, he, no, he, g- yeah, he, no, he an antidotes it. He does antidote. So he just no, has he an, an antidote. antidote the whole fucking time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. He was. Yeah. No. He had. He was. He's been testing out this serum back and forth, yeah. and he's like, "Oh man, this one doesn't work either. Maybe we'll try this." And so he's like, got a big board with all the chemical compounds on it. I think that actually makes sense. Where he's like trying to perfect some kind of formula the only thing that doesn't make sense is 
What's this formula? I was about to ask. <laughs> what is he actually trying to make? Yes. Well, he was like, it makes he was sense. telling the rabbit, I hope this gives you a, a kick in your step. I think it's an yes. energy drink. It was supposed to make the, the rabbit hyper. Maybe? I don't... <laughs> I, I don't know this... how both of you missed the energy drink subplot of this, but... I, I just... <laughs> We, because I made a joke about it, and so I thought that you were joking no. about it the whole time. I never thought that it actually was an energy it, drink It's company. literally a monster energy drink But there's, there's very little, there's like, they just basically, this is a science company, I don't know, they do science. They, but, they brush over it real hard. But the boss calls him into his office when he has to take a piss. Which is important. That's way later. Is it? Way, yeah, way that's later. way later. That's yeah. way, 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 I, way. I don't later. know what order the piss scene is, but it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't li- I know that you were very excited I, I know about that it, Boix, but we're not there yet. I know that you memorized every piss scene and every Boix, movie you've we watched, just... but... <laughs> Boix, listen, I know that you're going to let it go, but you've got to hold it in a little longer, okay? Anyways, but, the, the boss... Really call- he, he, call, he just calls him on the phone first. Oh, he calls him on the phone. Oh, yeah, that's what he's it was. Gonna black, yeah. He's going to blackmail him. This is where he does the smug yeah, pose. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. And he, yeah. He's, he says, like, okay, well, we've been watching you in your lab, and he, they have cameras set up in the lab, and the guy looks at the camera like, oh, no, like, I've been being filmed? Like, he wouldn't have known? Like the obvious uh, camera in the corner? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, I mean, you're at your office, like, so yeah. obviously you would be... There'd be security, whatever. But he's like, oh, we're going to, I'll blackmail you um, if you don't use this serum to instead make, like, weaponized monsters for me. For the military. Yeah. yeah. Out of bigger stuff. Uh, and he's like, well, bunnies but I don't want to do that. I want you to, like, make it a dog. Yeah, make it big. What if What if you do big monsters? What if like, big oh, dog? I guess. <laughs> and, and, and then and then he calls in his Russian uh, abducting assassin. Yes. <laughs> to to go abduct a dog and she just drives out into the middle of nowhere. Sees a dog sitting next to ice cream kid. Rides or or drives the van covering mm-hmm. the camera. Picks up the dog and then leaves while the ice cream kid is just watching the whole He's thing. Just watching it. <laughs> yeah, like one. that was a funny scene. It was very funny. Because, I mean, like, they're side by side. Like, to give yeah. you an example, like, the he could have reached down and pet this dog. But he's just sitting yeah. there holding an ice cream. And then just, like, Van pulls up, drags the dog out, and then just peels off. And the kid's just still sitting there. And he's, like, just ignoring his it. ice cream again. It, it's, <laughs> like, it's, it's such a good deadpan joke. <laughs> this kid dog, is a real good circus. deadpan. Yeah. Mm. But they, they, they get the dog, uh, strap the dog to a table. Yeah. Yeah. And then the boss is in in the lab as yep. uh, Dr. Lloyd comes in. And he's like, hey, by the way, Doc, time to inject that dog, buddy. I brought a dog for you. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, so they, they make Dr. Lloyd inject this dog with dogeroids and dog-roids. become a gigantic monster dog. The, the titular monster mutt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My favorite thing about this is when the boss is like, they injected it, and he's like, well, the dog's not changing. It's been one second. What the f- <laughs> And then as the dog- Injected again. And then as the dog starts transforming behind him, his eyes go, yes. And he starts getting, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, the, the boss stuff. is a real nasty man. I love- though. Honestly, again, this actor really sells the smarmy <laughs> nasty man. Like, he's great at it. And the yeah. dog- escapes uh rips through all the bonds and stuff turns into a man in a costume very obvious <laughs> like yeah, weird yeah. cover costume i loved this boix was sitting there going like oh it looks terrible i'm like it's great it's the best part it's so good i thought it was it it looks bad but it looks bad in a specific fun way for me mm. a kid would hate this I think a kid I, would hate this. It looks so bad that it would I immediately disagree. break you out of this. Me, I, I hard disagree. Me, a person who likes B movies, is like yes, yes. I don't know. Like, I mean, I loved, I loved like Gremlins and stuff, and it's a very Gremlins kind of costume. The mouth 
Yeah. yeah. I, I think yeah, like the Gre- Gremlins isn't stuff. a guy running around on all fours. No. So, yeah. No, it's not. But like it, the... it, It's got like alien xenomorph, but it's a dog in a costume energy, right? Like I... that's just a funny dog. That's not an alien. I guess. But I, lo- I, I kind of loved it personally. I think that I'd have liked it even as a kid. But the dog bites his ass, which is actually mm-hmm. a plot point. It is a plot point. Yeah. <laughs> it is a plot uh, point. And a special effects point. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, then his ass starts sloshing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they well, that it. happens. That does happen. A little bit later. later. But- yeah, but not much. He, not much. Yeah. He gets his ass bitten by the dog, yes. They, they and he gets a monster ass. They invented a dog that gives you a giant Beyonce Badonka Donk. His ass breaks the fucking internet, let me tell you. They literally have a slosh sound over it. It's so good. Oh, they sure do. <laughs> oh, his ass! <laughs> what? Hey! What? Hold up! What? Hold up! Hold Wait, a up. Wait a minute! Hold up! They had sloshing. I need to hear the sloshing. Go back. <laughs> what the fuck? They said sloshing, and I need to hear that sound. Everyone needs to be quiet. <laughs> well, that's new. Yep, that's sloshing. Uh, uh, I am literally so uh, far away from my computer screen right what? now. And then they have a scene later where he's standing in his office and they hide his ass with a chair so they can mm-hmm. reveal it again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was the piss scene. That was the yeah, piss that scene. Was the piss that scene. was the piss scene. Yeah, we all remember the famous monster monkey. <laughs> Everyone knows the famous what, monster One of piss multiple scene. piss scenes. Because <laughs> there's also the acid piss I guess. scene. There's, which oh God right, acid piss. That's right. Which we called. We <laughs> called that again. Why did? Why is it that every time they monsterize a dog, it's uh, piss becomes acid? Stop doing that. Stop making these dogs have acid piss. <laughs> <laughs> why is that a thing? Why is that always a thing? It's um, really good. Cause cause after the British guy is playing Guitar Hero. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> he's playing Guitar Hero and the monster dog is broken out of the kid's house. After uh Kool-Aid man O Yang threw a wall to escape the, from, the lab, from the yeah. laboratory. Yeah, to escape from the lab. Uh he sneaks out at night and pisses acid pisses on the british rocker's car again mm-hmm. yes uh, to interrupt his guitar hero playing so that he can come out and then lick his face which causes everybody in the neighborhood to call the neighborhood watch lady because mm-hmm. there's a dog pissing acid in the street yeah, because yes. the because the monster mutt was like <laughs> rummaging through like a bunch of people's trash and shit. So yeah, it kept getting the neighborhood watch kept getting calls about the there's the dog rummaging through trash. Yeah, it's it's just uh yeah, <laughs> it's just doing out out doing dog crime. But we find out that the dog biting your ass or licking you or in any way making, I, I guess it. Maybe it's a virus that passes through touch, or I don't know. Who knows? But but that monsterizes the boss. We could tell by his giant badonka donk and <laughs> his big feet and his don't huge forget his feet. His huge zoomed in hairy feet that they show. Yeah, he's yeah. got he's got the grippers out. Can't forget about those. I'm starting to think this yeah. is a fetish thing. Ass, this is the <laughs> ass and foot picks. First, yes. Yeah. I was gonna bring up when you were going through the dog movie bingo, you forgot fetish content. I forgot the fetish, yeah. 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 I never really thought that much about it until now. It, you never thought about feet and butt inflation. I mean, the makeup artist for the mask is clearly Listen, you gonna might have think fetish about content. that a lot, Co Buddy. But you <laughs> know, okay, other people look. Hey, hey. <laughs> look. Ilion is thinking so much about the piss scene. There is no room in there for. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ass. Like, how can you not? <laughs> to get away from fashion anyway. for a moment, 
Uh, there was one joke I actually really did like with the uh, no, no. with the t- the neighborhood watch lady. Right, she blows it to the whistle and it doesn't fucking work. She has a whistle. See, the neighborhood watch lady calls the cops and the firemen. For some reason, the firemen are there. <laughs> Gotta have the dad there. I guess That's the important part. Um, to deal with the situation, and the cops ask the rocker if he's been drinking, which he gets very upset about because of course he was drinking he was playing guitar hero what you... <laughs> yeah what the fuck the are you, fuck talking, are you about? talking about i was playing guitar hero why wouldn't i be drinking <laughs> tell me that's the only way to play guitar hero and and then the neighborhood watch lady shows up and starts harassing the cop where he slowly <laughs> starts moving away from <laughs> her moving away Oh, I wanted to be a police officer too. You see, I'm gonna go around the neighborhood and I've been just checking out all of the houses. So I've I've already canvassed the neighborhood and I'm gonna set up a perimeter. And he's Still uh, shuffling to the sides yeah. more and more and more. <laughs> like that's a good intentional joke. I mm-hmm. like that one. Um, so anyway, the the next day, uh, Doctor Lloyd shows up at the family's house to try and get the dog back with his '60s vacuum cleaner. Yeah, he tries to sell an old ass vacuum. He tre- yeah, he comes out like a vacuum salesman, and he dumps a bunch of dirt in their house when the kid goes to slam the door in his face. And he's like, oh, here, well, uh, oops, I'll just clean that up with my really powerful vacuum. And as he does that, it's actually kind of a good joke, because the whole house is just fucking trashed when yep. he looks in. Yep. And he's like, oh, uh... And she's like, yeah, that's not gonna help. And then just slams the door in his face kind of thing. <laughs> Look and at this fucking place. <laughs> yeah. Kind of amazing. Yep. Then they have the weirdest scene that just does not work. Like, I no. will say, I liked a lot of the jokes and stuff that they have. Like, I thought the vacuum salesman thing was actually okay. But then the kids go out to like go to the vet or something and uh, they go out the, of the garage no they go to pick up food at the oh, right. at yes, the lamest to... pet shop ever <laughs> right yes yeah they go to get some food and they they bring a wagon with them and they go out the garage door and the doctor guy tries to go in the garage door but instead of going in he just like oh right he gets caught rolls on around the door. underneath it well, but like so the He's too late to go in the door as it's clothing. Clothing? Closing. And yes. and it it stops on top of him. So he's midway. And and then he tries to wiggle free and lift himself up, and he lifts the door up, and then he gets inside, but his hand's stuck, and then he's back outside. And like the fact that there's constant back and forth is what doesn't make sense to me. Like he was yeah, in. Yeah, he keeps moving. If he was all the way in, why did he go back out? And like what? They Yeah, it's played up as, like, a joke that he doesn't know how to get in after being pinned under this garage door kind of thing. But it's done so badly and so stupidly that even as a child you would be like, mm. yeah, just, just go in, dude. Like, it's not... Just, just it, go. It's really weird, yeah. Like yeah. He, when he, you're saying that he's, like, pinned under it, he has, like two fingers of his hand under it and he's like oh my god i can't get out it's like just just move your hand just you just move your hand like it's just it's just bad physical comedy it's really bad yeah yeah it it shows that i completely memory hold that entire scene yeah i completely forgot about it there's a lot of this movie that I actually think holds up pretty well. This is not part of it. This is easily the worst scene and, of the movie. It just it makes no sense and it's stupid. And then after the food scene is when the daughter's like, I know how to solve this. And she has a clipping for the vet. Yes. Because she was trying to get her dad laid. She wanted to get her dad laid by the vet. So, so then they go Which... back out with the... <laughs> I don't understand why specifically that vet caught her eye, but... Look. (laughs) She's just trying to play matchmaker, and she's a kid. She doesn't know. I do want to also mention that when... Really, really quickly, because I need an excuse to put this into the episode, since I'm editing it. Sure. When they go and pick up the food from the pet store, we have one of the greatest line reads of all time, which I'm putting in right here. (laughs) Paper, plastic, or dump truck? Wow. You guys must have a lot of dogs. Nope. All right, now we can continue. (laughs) 
Nice editing. Uh, so, so <laughs> you did it. They they take Max, the monster dog, the monster mutt. Sorry, mm-hmm. Monster Dog's a different movie that I think we've already watched. Put respect watched. on his name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> to the vet, and they the only way they're hiding the dog is with like a blanket over it. No, there's just kind of like a big blanket yes. over the. So, so the vet's like, "Oh, what do you have there? Here, let me show you." They, they pull the blanket off, and she's like, "Oh, Dios mío!" <laughs> <laughs> Which is a very weird yeah, yeah. line read. Yeah, and, and then suddenly she's just very Latin. I don't, I don't know why. They, they want you to know, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So she she takes Max in, and she's like, I'll have to keep him overnight to run some medical science tests in my veterinarian office, because I'm a yeah, science I'm still vet. Yeah, not, in hindsight, I'm still not entirely sure what they thought their game plan was going to be with taking I don't know. Max to just a regular-ass vet. I think that their game plan was that they're eight. <laughs> they're eight. Yeah. And also, the vet has a dog named Lady, so they mm-hmm. can set up a sequel. <laughs> I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's kind of what it is. Yeah. That, that's a yeah. dog movie scene too, where they the boy dog meets the girl dog, so they can have puppies. Yeah, they don't really go anywhere with it until the no. end. But you know that it's like oh, like, it's like oh, lady sees who he really is, and that he's really a cute dog underneath. Uh, underneath. I don't know. I guess. Underneath this first suit, <laughs> where it's a man. <laughs> it's just a guy. It's just a guy. a guy. I can't get over that. <laughs> Anyway, she she locks up, turns on the security system, leaves for the day, and then immediately the Russian assassin steps into frame. Yeah! Ooh. Literally right behind Which her. Which is really good. Yes. And so the Russian assassin does a, a break-in and triggers a silent alarm, which means that in the middle of the Russian assassin trying to drag the dog out, the mm-hmm. vet comes in. And so she fucking knocks the vet out with one good punch. She gives her a real good backhand. Yeah. We, we also we also need to note she shot the dogs. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. She yeah. shoots. She just shot him. She shoots Max, and then also Lady for some reason. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you've got a gun and there's a bunch of dogs, what are you gonna do? I, I think she literally says like, "What? What? I'm here. While I'm here." Yeah. <laughs> she shoots the dog too. <laughs> But she, uh, so then she starts dragging the dog out again, Uh but she also pulls out a, like, miniature bong. This is the weirdest thing. It is real weird. I have no idea what the fuck that item was supposed to be other than a bong. Like, it looks, it's a bong, right? I I think it's literally just a bong, but they were trying to play it off as a Molotov. (laughs) Yeah, it was weird. Because, so she lights a wick that's coming out of the spout and then throws it at the wall and just lights the place on fire. Like, they escalate this real hard out of nowhere. It's like, oh, oh, I thought we were watching a kid's movie. No, she's just going to burn all the animals in the vet alive, huh? All right. That's, uh, sure. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Which is also the excuse for the firemen to show up. And, and this is yeah. all because the boss thought that the serum and the antidote were gone because it got destroyed when Max ran away. And clearly, Dr. Lloyd doesn't have any more of them ever and hasn't Obviously, mentioned having yeah. any more of them. So they need to get the dog to to reverse engineer mm-hmm. the serum and the energy drink monster serum <laughs> sure. antidote thing. I don't know. This plot doesn't matter. And, and, doesn't matter, doesn't make sense. Anyway, the uh, Dr. Lloyd shows back up at the kid's house. He's like, hey, by the way, I got fired today. Uh, and also, I might have injected your dog after we abducted it with a Russian assassin. Uh, and I know exactly what's happening and how to get your dog back. And I'm a real piece of shit. And I also <laughs> slopped up those steaks at the restaurant last week. <laughs> All the babies cry whenever I walk into any room. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry. I'll leave now. And then it's like action shots. The little girl opening the door is like, no, we're going to save them. (laughs) Okay. So so they go to the vet to go pick up Max. And it's on fire. Mm -hmm. 
And, and the kids are going to run in, and the doctor, he stops He's like, no, don't go in there. It's on fire. You're going to die. There's smoke inhalation problems with you running in into this building. You might pass out. I know. I'm a scientist. Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> You call the cops or the fire department or whoever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they do I... another really weird editing thing here with the and scripting thing with the kid because the brother is like, "No, you got this, buddy." <laughs> or something oh, like. Yeah, something he does like, like an that. action line. He he yeah, does it. What? It's weird. What he specifically says was like, "Yeah, there's like this pause for a moment as the kid's about to say his line as he said." As he says, the cages are in the back. Cages are in oh, the yeah. back. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like, and it's done like a big <laughs> yeah. reveal thing. Like, what? it's like, oh, yeah, you go get them. And it's it's terrible. It's and it's just, just like, terrible. I know, kid. It's, I've been in, it's a vet's office. I get it. Why are you reading? Why do you? Why did you say it like that? Why, what, what's that? Why would you say it this way? Just, uh, yeah, just tell me where they are. Like, the energy and gravitas of like someone holding, giving their child to yeah. another person, saying keep yes. her safe. Yeah, it's like yeah, that weird. Kind of shit. It's yes. weird. Yes, yeah, it, it's exactly that. You've nailed. That's exactly the energy, Cole, buddy. You totally nailed that. Yes. <laughs> so, in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, there's a a scene where Pee Wee runs into a burning pet shop, which is supposed to be him, like, not always caring about himself and caring about these pets and these animals. So he runs in and saves them, runs out, and you constantly see him running in and out of the door with the smoke with the animals mm -hmm. until he eventually runs out with snakes because he hates snakes. And then that's the end of the scene because he's a hero. They do that in this movie, except there's a lady on the ground dying, <laughs> passed he out. Ignores, and I love it. It's and he, so good. And he constantly <laughs> ignores her to pick up like a rat. He's and stepping <laughs> over her unconscious body, and, picking up all the animals around her. And then when the firefighters show up, he's like, oh, I couldn't find her. I couldn't find her. He's, no, he doesn't. Like, he doesn't even know. He doesn't he's like, say anything about her. I don't know. I didn't her. see her or something. Yeah. yeah he he, oh, he Yeah, he doesn't say anything about a lady. He goes, I got all the animals out. And then they just go in afterwards and they're like, like oh, also there's a lady on the floor? What the fuck, man? He <laughs> saves the tortoise before anything. He just leaves mm -hmm. her to die. And he's our hero. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. It's so good. It's so funny, and, too, because there's... There's a scene where he's like running out of the building and just pants over to her like yes Lord, yes it's, like, it's like there. it's almost like winking at the audience like hey remember her being there wink <laughs> she's still hey, dying guess what? she's still dying <laughs> why I I know exactly why they did this I and do the reason too. sucks it yeah. sucks. It's literally so that they have one scene, because it's the only scene that they have yeah. that excuses it, of the dad, who's a firefighter, coming in and rescuing the lady. So, so that then, they can schmooze on each other. Yeah. So that then they can justify at the end when they have a new mommy. That's literally it. That's just the whole <laughs> and, thing. And the neighborhood wash lady also shows up or something. No, no. No. They, they set up the, the relationship, though, when... When Doc picked up the kids, because she thought he was abducting them. Yes, correct. Yeah, when the and, doctor gets the kids to help. And, and then he's like, or they say he's their uncle. And then he's like, oh, by the way, you look really cute. You have Anyways. Eyes. Yes. Yeah, you have beautiful eyes. That's it. And then they just drive off. And, and that sets up their whole relationship, I guess. Yeah, they have no idea what they're doing with these relationships. That side of things is just fucked it's just so wrong and he so then he rescues the uh he gets all the animals out mm -hmm. and uh the firefighters are like you've got smoke inhalation you need to stay here and he goes no no no. like you should go rescue that tortoise anyway and jumps into his car and drives off because he's gonna go and do an action again and he's gonna go fight his boss uh -huh. and uh save max uh because of course max got He's like, wait, I know where Max is. Mm -hmm. So he drives off to his uh, science building, I guess. <laughs> In you know, the Max. building where they science. Yeah, yeah, the science headquarters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he has to stop the Russian assassin and his boss from injecting this dog with 
a lethal injection now, I guess. So I, you can reverse engineer I the guess? formula? Yeah, something yeah, like that. I guess. But when he when he it's shows up, that makes no sense. They find Max, Monster Max, uh, mm-hmm. attached to the table again, and the kids are there too because they snuck in. And yeah, they snuck into his car. Yeah. And the doc's like, "Kids, you can't come with me. This is dangerous. They might kill you, but we want to." Well, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll twist my arm. And and then they go in. They find Max, and the villain. The boss introduces himself to them in his new monster makeup in a very stupid way. <laughs> Did you remember me, Dick Kill Buddy? I... Do you remember what he said? No, I don't think I do, actually. I, re- okay. I mostly remember just his feet. Cause, mm, I do remember <laughs> looking at his feet. That's true. That's an interesting <laughs> that's thing. A, to that's remember. a weird thing remember. to remember. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay. Hey, yeah, go on. Oh, yeah. Later. Are we gonna... <laughs> no, he... There is a slow pan up from his feet. It, it does zoom in on his feet like... again. Yeah, and then he like does like a like a muscle pose. Like he does like this like he's flexing, like showing off his new bod, but he's all weirdly he's monsterized. Gross. Yeah. And, and he's specifically, gross. he says, "What's up, Doc?" Yes. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Which they thought was hilarious. And their lawyers thought was very bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> now we know why it's not on any streaming service. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> and, why, uh, and this is streaming. this is obviously a, the mask situation. Which, oh, yeah. Which makes sense. Like, the, the makeup artist slash director um, was incredibly inspired by the mask during this scene, <laughs> where, where we have... King Kong versus Godzilla is what, yeah. what was said. The kaiju fight between the boss and the dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, if it wasn't clear before, it is so clear in this scene. It's just a dude in a suit. Just a dude in a suit. Yup. And it looks looks like a dude in a suit. It's so and obvious. And then it starts going really weirdly dark. Yeah. Because the boss, the boss yeah. gets the upper hand on the dog. And you're like, oh, okay. It'll show him, like, choking the dog, or, you know, he'll hit it on the back of the head and, and knock it out. And the dog will get knocked out in the background or something, yeah. N- no, uh, he grabs a big, like, belt? Leather it's, but belt? It's, like, yeah. huge. It's, like, a really, really mm. big, see, big piece of leather. And wraps it around the dog's neck, and they have an extended scene of him choking this dog to death. He's basically it eroding was, uh... the dog. Yeah. Yes. It was a little uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then the kids inject the antidote into his huge plump ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a big target. Where it's sloshing around. Where it's, yeah. it's a really big target. It makes sense, mm-hmm. right? And Which reverts him back to normal boss. And at which point he's just a guy that could just beat the shit out of these children anyway. <laughs> and then he starts beating the shit out of the children. Mm-hmm. But Dr. Lloyd uh, is finally awake because he got knocked out during the fight. And, yeah. and he beats the shit out of him, knocking him into a cage. And then yes. blackmails him with security footage, where he was originally blackmailed with security footage. Uh, and then I guess the situation's resolved or whatever, because he also happens to have another antidote. I don't know. Who gives a shit? Yeah, he yeah. had another antidote for the dog, I guess. I guess, whatever. That was kind of the plot that he didn't. The whole plot was that he didn't. The whole point of the movie was that I, he didn't. I guess. It seemed like that for sure, yeah. I think the boss was just stupid. <laughs> yeah, and, and also, if you think about it, if, if the boss needed an antidote, they're, they're one antidote short. They had an antidote for the boss. They had an antidote for Max. What happened to Guitar Hero guy? They forget about him. Yeah. They they totally forget about him. His face got licked, and he should also be a monster man. Well, they even mention, oh, your face is weird. Yeah. And then they cut away from it, and then he's, that's the last scene that he's in. That's it. Maybe they had to cut the scene, because it was too long. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they had to have cut the rest of that content. Yeah. And, And then the movie just wraps up, uh... The, the hunky fireman gets the Dios mio. <laughs> yeah, it should be said, too. It literally cuts to a black screen that says three months later. It's just, yeah, mm-hmm. it just cuts. It just goes, yeah, <laughs> end, end. End the film, quick. Uh, the doc gets the neighborhood watch lady, which is a horrible disaster and has ruined oh, his God. life. Oh, God, please don't. Yeah. The uh, dog, Max gets lady. 
they're buried mm-hmm. now in dog uh, law. Uh, okay. and then they had puppies. And a family shows up at the vet's office to go abdu- uh, adopt, I guess, yes. one of the puppies. Yes. Uh, and the girl picks out a dog, and it's a horrible puppet monster dog. <laughs> it's an obvious <laughs> gremlin. A, a very yes. gremlin. <laughs> the implication there was... I guess Max and Lady there, fucked while uh, Max was in monster mode. Or the answer, the yeah. answer doesn't really work. Or I, I uh, they wanted to make uh, a rubber puppet. They wanted to make a rubber yeah. puppet. I think that was. <laughs> I love that the the relationship of the fireman and the vet, like the dad and the vet, is just literally. Well, he picked her up in the office. I guess. They never talked. And then, oh, now they're now, now they're married mommy. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. What? 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 Uh, and then it cuts to credits. And then 10 seconds into the credits, we get a Marvel this after credits scene. This is so funny. Because we were thinking I like. I actually thought this was really funny. We were thinking out loud. What happened to the rocker and what happened to the, the Russian assassin? She just left. She's yeah, gone from we... the movie. We don't get a wrap up for the uh, rocker, but Co buddy, do you want to explain what happened? Yeah, you um, thought this was great. So we cut to uh, we have the mid credit scene cut to um, the the woman or the little girl who adopted the mm-hmm, fucked mm-hmm. up puppet dog. Yes. Yeah. Opening the door to see a person on the other end, mm-hmm. and it's the. <laughs> Russian assassin lady doing the same uh, vacuum bit Mm -hmm. as the doctor did. Which implies she shot that child and stole her dog. It literally just smash cuts the black! Yeah. Yes. It implies horrible things happen to that family. Oh yes, is out of world vacuum cleaner. Would you like to see? (laughs) It's like, okay. Real real dark note to end the movie on, but it's super great. Uh, the, I, it was the back of the box says, by the way, uh, CEO of Mega Corporation in Vigro in Vigor Max uh, to be used mm-hmm. as a test subject for a new super energy drink. What the so fuck? So there's the confirmation. Oh there's my the god! Confirmation. Yeah, while well, they just kind of huh. said that once and never again, huh? And also, yeah. there's apparently some time limit because they had to search for a cure before it's too late. I guess. No, I don't think they did. No, that's that's bullshit for the back of the box. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, yeah. But yeah, so that's the movie. It was... I guess we gotta rate the dogs, huh? Yeah, yeah. So there's uh, Max, who sucks Mm. shit, can't pet, can't, can't, (laughs) can't shake hands, can't do any tricks, loves pizza and farting. Ashley, don't feed Max any pizza. You know what that does to his system. Okay, Dad. Yeah, dogs can have pizza problems. <laughs> Little oh. treats. Oh. Treat. After eating mm-hmm. pizza. Uh, and Loves. also has acid piss. <laughs> it is just a guy in a suit. <laughs> just a guy. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give Max a, um, a Godzilla 10. <laughs> oh, Godzilla 10. I, I I think that I've got to go with a gaslight here because Max was <laughs> Max was super in on fucking over that British rocker dude and like just messing hated with him. that guy. Yeah, because he he absolutely like Max Max is too dumb to shake paws, but he is not above doing a trick to make sure that he fucking wrecks the mental health of this aging <laughs> British rocker. <laughs> I I gotta give Max a. Wouldn't even be a good suit at a fursuit convention out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Fair. I think that's my Lord. rating. Uh, I mean, you're right, but that's a bit mean. And then technically there's Lady, I guess, who's a dog and exists mm-hmm. in the film. Uh, yeah, she exists. That's yeah, my rating. I, I'm giving that dog a get shot by a Russian assassin out of 10. <laughs> 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 For no reason. Why did she do that? <laughs> What the fuck? 
And then last of all, let's rate Ice Cream Kid, who is a oh, 20 man. bucks out of $10. Ice, <laughs> ice Cream Kid is so good. <laughs> Every time that the anybody's looking for information on where the dog is, whether it's the Russian assassin or the... Uh, scientist man they always run into ice cream kid and he's always just sitting there deadpan holding an ice cream and like 20 bucks <laughs> just give me give me the money kid i'm trying to look for this dog's house 20 bucks I, I, 20 fucking dollars <laughs> kid your mom's slapping me with a fucking broom because she thinks i'm a home invader can you help me out you got 10 bucks yeah <laughs> that was a great moment too yeah <laughs> And of course, in, and in every single scene too, he's holding an ice cream, and it always gets always knocked falls off. off yeah. Always falls off. That that's probably their best joke, to be honest. I, yeah, there's a few that are. Pre- I I still think that the the boss posing the same as his yeah. portrait is I, my favorite. But there's some good moments. Not all lost media that we find is worth watching or, or even good yeah. content. I think edited down, this is still a pretty good kids movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 This one, it's. I don't think it's amazing or anything, but it's, as far as our movies, yeah. this thing is <laughs> pretty high tier for what we get to watch. I I have to give it credit. I didn't disassociate for like five full minutes unlike the last time. Looking at your phone, just staring, <laughs> hoping something <laughs> happens. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> anyway, that that's the episode. I've come to talk with you again. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody, and checking out Rough Cuts. Uh, thank you for being here, co-buddy. Um, hey, it's always a good time. Uh, did you have anything you wanted to plug? Uh, Twitch.tv slash co-buddy underscore. That's about all I got. Well, and specifically, I would say that co-buddy does a show called Death Notes. That's true. I do do that, yes. Where uh, you have to try and identify the songs from Death Battles. Uh mm-hmm. Or well, rather, you have to identify the death battles from just the songs. Yeah, and other context clues and because if mm. if it was just the songs, it'd be fucking impossible. Sure, yeah. but they you do a quiz show kind of thing. It's very yeah. fun. Yeah, they do a great job. Battles. It's a great show. You all should check it out. Uh, also, you can support us on Patreon mm-hmm. uh, for the low cost of I don't know any amount. You can give us money. We like money. <laughs> <laughs> It, it does help with I, buying I, I, I did literally have to order on DVD. a lost <laughs> media yeah. DVD to get this running. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. Uh, that helps. You can also follow us on Blue Sky as well as co-host. Uh, yep. You can email us at roughcuts. Uh, is it roughcutscast? Yes. At gmail.com. Roughcutscast at gmail.com. Uh, and yeah, that was a good time, I guess. We watched a film. It, it happened. I know. It's we surprising. Did. All right, well, I gotta, I gotta go off and, you know, get my injections. My, this ass isn't gonna grow itself. Oh, yeah, don't worry. My ass is so plump, I don't even need a pillow on my seat anymore. It's fucking Oof. fantastic. Oh, man, I, all right, I gotta go and get some of that. I'll, yeah. I, mean, Lord I, need, I need some Invigoron Max, so <laughs> give me a minute. All right, see you next time, folks. Invigor on Maxius Gluteus. Maximus Gluteus? Something like, yeah. It's ass. It's ass juice. That's what it's the joke. Incontinentia buttocks? <laughs> Good lord.